Namaste, my dear friends. In today's world, there is a lot of violence and chaos. People are fighting with each other because of various reasons, could be because of the fight for resources, the fight for ideology, the fight for power, etc. And so there is a lot of violence in today's world. This is not new. This is a very ancient concept. And the concept of violence is called as Himsa. And Patanjali is talking about this as part of the Yama, the first discipline of the Ashtanga Yoga. Among the five Yama, he is presenting Ahimsa as first. Ahimsa is the state of non-violence. Na himsa bhavaha ahimsa. The reason why we are violent is because of fear that somebody else is going to take away what belongs to us or that somebody else does not belong to the same ideology and therefore we are not good enough or they are not good enough. Many times this kind of violence is coming because of very strong boundaries that we impose on ourselves because of materialism. The concept of ego also has a very big role in this. The Muladhara Chakra is considered the foundation of all the chakras and among the Muladhara's issues, one of them is the construction of a boundary of the ego, whether it is a physiological boundary or a psychological boundary. The physiological boundary is the boundary of the body. The psychological boundary is the boundary of the ego. Now, these are important for us to function in our life. But if we become too attached to that and build this too strongly, it becomes rigid and therefore we start to become a little bit fanatic. And when we start to become fanatic starts the concept of violence. We see this in every field of life. When you look at countries fighting with each other, they're fighting for the border. When you look at countries fighting for resources or money or power, they're fighting for status. When you look at yoga people fighting that Ashtanga Yoga is better than Bikram Yoga or Bikram Yoga is better than Iyengar Yoga, they're fighting for an identity, a border. When you look at people who are eating diet, vegans fighting with non-vegans, they're fighting for an identity. So many of us, we fight for this because of the concept of fear that becomes very dominant when the Muladhara gets too much heavy. So essentially what Patanjali is saying is to develop this concept of Ahimsa, Na Himsa Bhavaha because violence does not solve any problem. Violence only makes the problem worse. So what Patanjali is asking us to do is to develop a sense of non-violence, be it in our actions, be it in our words, or be it in our thoughts and intentions. And this violence must not only be towards others, it also must be directed towards ourselves, must not be directed towards ourselves. Very often we end up with meeting people who have the illusion of perfection and want to be a perfect mother, a perfect father, a perfect teacher, a perfect student, etc. And they become very violent to themselves. They don't like their body. They don't like their <clears throat> psychological state. They don't like their home. They don't like their country because they want to be perfect. That's not possible and that is coming from this very strong ego or identification of the illusion of perfection. Patanjali says that this violence is very bad because it destroys 
our system it drags us down it's like gravity it pulls us down whereas we need to have a certain amount of flexibility and lightness because not everything in this world is perfect and perfection is not necessary for connection or love if you just think about it if you have children think about your children they are not perfect but you still love them if you think about your dog or your cat they are not perfect but you still love them the same way we have to think about ourselves and others even if we are not perfect we are worthy of love and connection so that's why patanjali starts with saying that ahimsa is very essential framework for yoga practice because we must not harm ourselves because the more we harm ourselves the more the ego is becoming dominant and therefore the tendency to hurt others yoga is about the reduction of the ego and ahimsa is one of the techniques through which we can do that namaste my dear friends